Oh, at long last, we've arrived at this very moment. How about that? This place is nice, isn't it? Viewpoint synchronized. And let's go ahead and take a look at the map before we continue. See if anything new's been unveiled. See, my fear was that it would show us things in areas we'd already traveled to, but that's not the case. So all of this is counted out now. We can focus in on just this area here for continued exploration. We're gonna have to backtrack over there, but let's stay on target here. We keep shuffling between different quests. Let's complete this one by, oh, taking a leap of faith. I didn't even check to see if there was a place to land down here, but oh my gosh, it looks like there is. <gasps> oh, there's a lot of treasure around here also that we can investigate. Where is, where is the treasure located? Just sort of out here in the, in the battlefield? Oh, good. My concern was that I'd have to climb halfway back up the mountain in order to find it all. I didn't want to do that. I'm quite lazy. We got some scorpions on location here, which means that we can hopefully get ourselves some more star shards. I need something like 110 more. I might have done my math way off on that one. Maybe not, though. What, 30, 60, 90, 110? Maybe? Oh, I don't think we're going to get that many while we're here. I just, I just don't think it's going to happen. Um, also, what the heck am I shooting at? Is this part of my mission? Is this big in here part of my mission? Probably. We need It's an, it's an exploration area, but I got a feeling it's going to end up being more of an eradication area. Us versus this guy. One-on-one. -on -one, Close-up combat. Well, so much for that. What is, what is happening? I can't see what's happening anymore. Are we winning? Are we losing? I think we did it. And we got two whole shards of a star for it. But that's not what we're down here for. That was just a random location bonus. What's the thing I'm here for? Am I trying to find the, another Pharaoh eyeball or something? Oh, probably right there. That's where I need to go. Well, that mark didn't help me at all. Here we go. This looks like the kind of place you would find another left eye. Uh-huh. The two doors of the horizon are open. Okay, great. Slide, revealing him upon his firm throne. That sounds the wonderful. The, sapphire, the cerulean, the turquoise as stars. Okay. The dust veil lifted from his eyes. The face of the god is open, revealed. The face of the god? What are you going on about, lady? Also, what next? What else has to be done? Follower or leader? So that happens way down here. And then we've got to do the King of Kings quest, which is going to take us to right here. I guess we'll do that one because it's so close, and that'll that'll complete this sort of main quest in this area, I reckon. Oh! Thy perish not. Thy car perishes not. This is... For thou art mighty in your domain. Mm hmm I wish she would stop talking every time I try to stop talking, or start talking. Oh, I've got to fight him, don't I? Do we want to do... Let's not do this just yet. We can come back and do this later. Because this is going to be the big climactic last battle of the game. And I kind of want to save it. Let's go do the rest of the area. This one is going to be straightforward. Three scorpions. One's got to go. The other two, I don't know. This one for sure, though, has to go. He's got a big crown on top of his head. These all seem to be very high level. But none of them are putting up a good fight. And it looks like we've almost killed their king. So, now his subjects should fall rather easily. Well, look at that. We got a, a big achievement for that. I wonder what the achievement is. It's not going to tell me, though. Oh, but I've got an outfit for it. Is it for killing all the scorpion kings? Is, is, that, a, is that a reward? It seems to be. What I would have preferred from that was maybe 30 eyes of a star or shards from a plinket or whatever it is. What's a plinket? I don't know why that came to mind. Oh, I just watched a Plinket review of a Star Wars movie, that's why. Find and get the postage. Still not sure what that is, but we're gonna go ahead and do that one. It says it'll spawn in the desert. Uh, is it gonna follow this trail? Is that what's gonna happen? Is it up here right now? It might be whatever this thing is. Oh, you know what? It's probably this guy with the big golden mark on his head. He's dead now. I killed him. <laughs> that was easy. He's got a he's got a, a small retainer of soldiers with him, who are also almost all dead. This guy is sinking though. I don't know if y'all saw that. He was just slowly getting smaller and smaller. What the heck is that sound? I hear that. Oh, I think my. I th what? 
I think the alarm on my iPad is going off for some reason. I don't know what I set it up for, though. It's just going off in the other room. I'll deal with that in a minute. I've got more pressing issues right now, like not dying, because we haven't died here yet, and I'd like to keep it that way. All of the location objectives are complete. We have now only to complete the next two quests, and I, I think we'll be done, which is strange to think about. Where are we taking these things? Back over here? I think I was just over there. So it'll be nice to return to some familiar territory. Let's go, horse. Hold still. Ah, excellent. Onward. Giddy up and gallop. I was born and raised in Southeast Texas, so naturally I know all of the horse-related lingo like giddy up and gallop. Yeah. What's going on in here? Is this where we're going to meet the boy and his father? Is this where he found out that his father is a giant scorpion or something weird along those lines? I'd believe it. What's up, my dude? That was a weird false start there. Of harmony and balance. Oh, you're, you're, you're Ramesses' son. Your trials are completed. Your will done. But I will not follow you. Oh, this is bad. My path is my own to walk. Is this a bit of a preview of the Pharaoh we're going to have to fight? Oh my gosh. Then go with Ra, my son. Unexpected. He sounded an awful lot like Bayek. The lion leading an army of sheep, Bayek. This is weird! But their destinies are forged in the flames you lit. Let that bring you peace. Now make out. Or don't. Never mind. This is a PG stream. Right! We have only now to face Ramesses. Right over here. And what do we have to show for it? Well, we've got a couple more ability points. I say we put one more into Warrior. And then go one more into Hunter. So you have a whole 3, 4, 5 thing going on here. And then we're going to go over to Gear. And I'm just going to make sure we've got all the best stuff. What about that new Scorpion outfit we got? Where is that at? Oh, so we've got a few of them. We've got this one, and then we've got this one. A Servant of a Moon armor that I've never seen before. Uh, should we just go with Bayek's outfit for this one, for the big finale? Would that be fitting to just... I think it would. It doesn't really matter. It's not like you get any buffs from it. Let's get rid of the hair and the beard and the hood. I say get rid of the hood. Or is the hood just... Oh, there we go. Look at him. Classic Bayek right there. How does he look with the beard, though? <laughs> silly. How does he look with just the hair? Also silly. We'll just send him in like this. Oh, and we can upgrade something. Hidden Blade, uh, the Bracer to max out melee damage. Oh, we can up... Oh, we have, we have enough for a couple of things. So we could fully... Okay, let's do this. And then we'll also do one of these. And how many does that leave us with? I think that leaves us with maybe 12. Right. Two more items. Two more items to level up, and it's just never going to happen. I am a Bayek of Siwa! And I have seen what happens when you let ghost pharaohs wander the world, so I've come to put you down, sucker. This is gonna be this is gonna be the big final finale epic battle. The kings and pharaohs and, and, and Bayeks. I'm the ultimate Bayek. I'm Bayek level twelve. Champion of Kadesh. Face me. I bring you rest. Oh, <laughs> he looks like a bionicle. This is the closest thing to a, a big open world bionicle game we're ever gonna get. We're gonna die a lot. Okay, no, this is fine. Oh, he's a piece of quicken, isn't he? Okay, pop him with your ultimate. There you go. Make him feel it, Bayek. Make him feel it. Now get out of the way. Get no Bayek, we're dead now. This is it. He's one shot us. No, we can't, we're still alive. We just can't get up. Get up, Bayek. Oh my gosh. Okay, first things first. Bow of Raw should come in handy. P possibly. I'm not sure. Bayek, what was that? Get out your bow, man. Boom. Wrong bow, Bayek. No, no, no. Bow of Raw. Bow of Raw. Get your Raw together. There you go. Hit him with the big stuff. Ah! He, he, he calls up these storms and they can't see him. And it gets scary. 
And then he just jumps out of nowhere, and he's got this flaming thing. Ah! Right, I just now figured out that if you leave this thing held up for, for longer periods of time, and you get these massive combos, it starts to glow really bright and does some serious damage, and recharges your ultimate really fast. And I don't know how I missed that the last time I used it. Bow of Raw, the Light Bow of Raw. Strongly recommend it if you can actually hit consecutively without missing. Okay, so I can't exactly say this has been the easiest of these fights that I've done. Well, it has, but I don't think it's because it was the easiest. I think it's because the first it's the first one I've went into with absolute... An idea of what to do, and quite a bit of confidence, and I wasn't just going in blind and swinging my sword. Finished it in one try. Righto. Is this going to explain everything? Is this going to explain anything? Such greatness. But did he achieve this alone? What an interesting question. Um, we did it! Sweet. Uh, I think we're done here. I don't think there's anything else we can do here on the main map. In terms of quests, I think for the first time ever, all the main quests are done. If that's it and we're done, I'm going to be very disappointed because there was a fantastic finale cutscene at the end of The Hidden Ones that was really good. And I think tied up not only the Hidden Ones DLC, but the entire game. And to go from... Uh, this is arguably a better DLC. It's certainly much bigger. But to go from that very definitive, very satisfying ending in the first DLC to this ending... I mean, I guess the, the technical ending for the DLC was in the last uh, a couple episodes ago. But even then, I f it wasn't that good. And there's just nothing. It's just over with. We've now completed all the main quests. And unless there's something new on the map out here... There is! Oh my gosh, there is! There's something new! Perchance to dream. But is that, a, is that a real new... That's just a side quest, isn't it? There doesn't seem to be any main quests out here. I suppose we'll see what this is all about, but I don't think it's got anything to do with the main story. Who is that? Okay, well, something's Mike, just... I saw you in my slumbers. You alone have returned from the Duat. That is true. You saw this. Hetan and his wife, Rama's his son, who is gods, Septimius. I was there, but I did not truly understand. Then perhaps with the blessing of Thoth, I can guide you through the chaos. A warrior, answering Anubis' call, sacrificing love for duty. But you and your beloved will not be parted in the eternal fields. A son, defiant, refusing to walk the path gouged in the sun by his father's feet. A leader is not a tyrant, Bayek. Caesar, Ptolemy, Flavius, oppression, fear. You may work in the dark, but you serve the light. An old man, forsaken and fearful, but every day you honor the gods in your words, your deeds. Their lessons cannot slip through your fingers like a thousand grains of sand. The foul heart, corrupt, fetid. This is not your fate. You will enter the Duat without your enemy, Bayek, and you will find serenity. Thank you, Bessa. This is a comfort. That's it? Is that the end of the game? I... I mean, I suppose... It's a bit of a bit of closure. I've scrolled through everything on here, and as far as... You know what, you know what, there's an easy way to tell whether or not we've done everything. Um, let's just go, let's see, here we go. Hey! 100% completion! 
and it only took me 102 hours, though I don't know how accurate that is. I think I get a different result if I check it in Steam. Steam says 146 hours, and I'm more inclined to believe that. Game progression, 100%. Abilities unlocked, 100%. Scrolling down here, viewpoint synchronized, 100%. Crafting upgrades unlocked. I'm not spending all that time looking for stars. It's just not going to happen. But that that does it. We've completed the game. And it's it's a bit emotional, isn't it? My goodness. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Well, folks, it might sound crazy considering we got this game on release day last year. I, I actually pre-ordered it because I knew I was going to record it regardless of how good or bad it was. And it's taken us almost a full year to complete it, but I actually didn't think we'd even get it done before the release of the next game, which is crazy to think about, but obviously we certainly did, and I have had a lot of fun playing through this game, had a lot of fun doing the recording of all the DLCs and the main game, all of the side quest live streams we did were a really good time, and I hope that all of you folks enjoyed those as well. Uh, we're going to take a break from Assassin's Creed, obviously, leading up to the release of Odyssey, which... I'm actually a little bit excited for. I wasn't super hyped after watching the trailer and seeing the name reveal and all that and, and finding that we're going even further back in time and not continuing with Bayek's story or, or actually I wanted to do do Aya's story. Aya, 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 A-O-I-A, Aya. It's in my head. I don't know why I can't say it, but I was hoping we would continue with her in, in Rome. I thought that would be cool. But I think we're going to go back and find out more about the origins of the Templars and that could be fun. I suppose. Uh, I, re I, uh, I liked that element of Assassin's Creed 3 and, and Assassin's Creed Rogue, seeing things from the other side, at least at the beginning of Assassin's Creed 3. The rest of the game I could do without. I need to probably go back and give that one another playthrough. I don't think I gave it a fair rundown. I, in any case, thank you folks for tuning in and watching this series. God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you in the next game. Bye.